Yo, what's going on? And welcome back to Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. And last time, we spent the entire time learning how to Link Summon and then building a Ramshackle Link deck. Which, we'll see how that goes, because we're just getting straight into it with what we built. Nothing's changed. We'll see. I have no idea if it'll work. But let's get back into the story. While Yugi's team worked their way through the tournament, our history now turns to Seto Kaiba for a moment. As you remember, Seto had only been defeated in Duel Monsters once by Yugi. Seto had a little brother named Mokuba. You think that Seto, well I guess he is like rich, but you think that he would just go to every single tournament ever and just win all the money if he never loses. Like, Bandit Keith kept complaining about how Pegasus beat him in that tournament. Why wasn't Seto there? Why didn't he just win the tournament? Too busy running his million dollar corporation. Seto, okay we already read that. Pegasus kidnapped Mokuba and locked him in a dungeon to lure Seto into a trap. And it worked. As Seto made his way to the dungeon to save his brother, Pegasus sprung the trap and stole Mokuba's soul, just as he had Yugi's grandfather. Seto Kaima, do you care enough about your brother's life to try and save his soul? You're not human! I'm quite human, actually. Just ex <laughs> extraordinarily gifted. Pegasus threw a handful of star chips at Kaima. Here, you'll need these for your duel with Yugi. Why are you doing this? My reasons are none of your concern. Maybe I just enjoy this struggle, watching the constant tug of war between you and Yugi boy. Or maybe I want something more incapable of... Something you're incapable of comprehending. Talk straight. What do you want? Want? I want to see if you're capable of defeating little Yugi in a duel, and only if you successfully crush him in a humiliating defeat will you get the opportunity to duel me. Then if you beat- oh, <laughs> we're back to Pegasus, sorry. Then if you beat me, I promise to restore your brother's soul. For now, I have no choice but to play your game, but as soon as I defeat Yugi, I'll be back. And you'd better make good on your promise to restore my brother, because if you don't, I'll take great pleasure in separating your soul from your body in my own way. And with that, Pegasus had another duelist under his control to take down Yugi. Yugi and I both have enough star chips to get into the castle now, isn't that right, Yug? How did Joey get enough star chips? He beat Bonds, so he got four more, so he had eight. When did you win two more duels? Yeah, finally! Grandpa, here I come. Hey guys, look, you're not gonna believe who's blocking our way into the castle. It's Kaiba. I can't let you pass, Yugi. I've won 10 star chips, so stand aside. You may have won enough star chips to qualify for the Duelist Kingdom playoffs, but I can't allow you to face Pegasus, he's mine. You and I are going to have one final duel, Yugi. I'm not dueling you, I don't have to. So? So, no longer confident that your so-called heart of the cards can help you win? You're just afraid you can't beat me a second time, you coward. Back off, he doesn't have to prove anything. Yugi, you said you won by tapping into the heart of the cards, and for a long time I didn't know what that meant. But now, I think I do, and it took Pegasus to show me. He gave me a reason to put my heart in the cards. For the first time, I can duel with fire and passion in my heart. Yugi, you can't accept this duel. I've changed. I deserve a rematch. Give me a chance to play you now, Yugi. Let me play you for the right reasons. I accept your duel. We'll see what you've really learned. Okay. User deck. Basic link deck. Let's see how this goes. Could be an absolute disaster. Aha, Yugi. I knew you would pick rock all along. Oh boy. <laughs> I gotta remember what the cards I even picked do. Okay, hold on. You can special summon from your hand. Okay. That's cool. From your deck. Okay, we'll probably do that. So if we summon this dude, then we can summon this guy. 
What do you do? This card is normal or special summon. So what do we need to summon uh, anything? What do you need? Except tokens. What about one of those super strong monsters? Like this guy's four. We can't do four. We can do three. Or Honeybot, because <laughs> I like Honeybot. <laughs> Honeybot seems cool. Uh, well, you're a Link Four, but we can summon Encode Talker. Encode Talker seems like a good choice. All right, so we go Widget Kid. Sure. Now we activate Widget Kid's effect, so we can summon. Oh, that only works when he's normal summon. Oh, Jesus. I'm real dumb. Quit. Dang it. Okay, we can't summon Encode Talker. Yeah, activate your effect. I don't know what it does, but... Get another widget, kid. Can get this. This card is used... Oh, Datacorn. We don't have anything else that we can special summon, though. Unless we can figure out how to get Dotscaper. How did they put Dotscaper in our graveyard in the other one? I don't remember. We'll get a uh, Stack Reviver. No, because we need to. We can summon Stack Reviver next turn. I think. With Draco Net? Can Draconet summon Stack Reviver? No, it cannot. Fun luck. Alright, what can we summon though? We can summon all of these? Oh, sweet. Proxy Dragon. Uh, you could tell. Do we have any of these that will help us summon another monster? Like you? This card points to it. Nah, I, that doesn't work. Well, I guess we like... Summon Nightmare Phoenix? Because it has a lot of attack and I don't want to use Honeybot yet. Still looks pretty cool. So I don't understand why we can summon in both of these. Is this just because we are in um, an early version of this of the story? So it gave you access. You could summon like two fusion monsters instead of just one. Because I thought each player was supposed to have their own extra monster zone. I guess I could be mistaken. Aha, we got our mirror force. I'll set that down. And then... We'll summon a Draco Net. We'll activate his effect. Oh, what does that do? Okay. Fair enough. Uh, you have a lot of attack. If this all goes wrong, I'm relying on you. Oh, you don't have any defense, though. That's an issue. Alright, what can we special summon now? Trigate Wizard. Power Code Talker. Alright, oh, because we have our, uh, dude... Um, we need something that points down. Power Code Talker points down. Uh, contribute one monster this card points to. Okay, that seems 
fine, maybe. Because we need to be able to summon onto our field somehow. We didn't really plan out our field well enough. Okay. We have to pick that. And we'll pick this guy. Oh, it needs to be three monsters at least though, because he has three doohickey majiggles. Yeah, you're not wrong. All right, well that answers this question at least if this guy counts as two. The answer is no. Absolutely not, what were you thinking? We should put him over here probably. All right, well, let's just attack. Why can't I see my own cards at least? <laughs> like at least you don't have to turn them around so I can't see them. Get out of here, giant soldier is down. I think my deck sucks. Is what I've decided is actually horrible. Can I see my own goddamn cards, please? Got another Ram Clouder, huh? Yeah. Alright, well let's... Let's summon you. Summon you over here. Nice. How do I... If this card is special summon, god! <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, well that didn't work out. But we can summon Link Karibo. Genius. Oh, we can summon this dude. Can we? Yeah, why don't we just summon that guy? Let's do it. We're really working hard for this. Every play is like painful to make. Destroy all monsters in the main monster zones. Well, I feel like that's gonna pretty much mean that we just blow up his monster every turn and attack him for 3,000. Oh, it also does damage equal to their attack. Genius. Creature swap. What? How long does that last? That seems really bad. <laughs> I worked really hard to summon that, you jerk. Uh, Okie dokie then. I guess I just, uh, it's the Aluse. Okay, hold on, hold on. We, we, we're still good. We just got a special summon something. Uh,. Special summon. Get out of this dude. But we summon Widget Kid. Sure, let's try that. Or something. So we summon this. Then we activate his effect. Get rid of him. Summon Widget Kid. Put him there. Then we activate his effect. And then we summon this. 
Then we should be able to summon this. Put you in the fence. And now... Can choose unused main monsters equal to the number of monsters currently in... That doesn't really help me in this situation. Okay, we need him to be on our in our main monster zones. So I guess we'll summon Encode Talker. We'll put him here. What do you do? Come on. This card, as a link material, you can make all monsters your opponent lose a thousand. Yes! Genius! Ha! I knew I was a genius without knowing it. Get wrecked. Now, we can summon Ram Clouder. Sacrifice him, summon Boral Dragon, and then destroy. It's genius. Can I at least see my cards? Like, this is just absurd. It's destroyed by an opponent's card effect. Ah, right, Ram Clouder. Nope, please sacrifice yourself. We need Encode Talker. He is vital to the situation. We could also summon this guy instead. I don't think we need Topological Bomberman. Just give me Power Code Talker. And put him here, because he points both directions. And maybe we shouldn't uh, screw ourselves out of something else. So maybe we should just count our blessings that we actually summon two monsters and call it good. Why isn't he getting 500 attack? Uh, he's not the one that gives 500 attack. All right, fair enough. Maybe it was Decode Talker that gets 500 attack for every card that he points to. Did we just draw the same card? Oh my. Wait, 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 wait. You can discard one spell. I don't have a spell card. Never mind. Did we win? Yeah, we win anyways. What are we worried about? Ha ha! Alright, I, I can't tell if this deck is horrible or okay. It's definitely not good, I'll tell you that much. Yugi refused to finish his attack against Kaiba because he would have inflicted physical harm. When Yugi refused to attack, Kaiba struck and took the victory. I can't believe it, that underhanded sleazeball wiped Yugi out. I'm sorry about your grandpa, but you did the right thing. You would have had to hurt Kaiba, and I know your grandpa wouldn't want to be saved that way. Then I guess he got what he wanted. If Yugi had done what needed to be done, he would be entering the castle, not me. But he was too weak to follow through on his play. Pegasus's plan had worked to perfection. Good job, oh, good job, Kaiba boy. As you wished, I will be your next opponent. Little Yugi didn't fare nearly so well in this rematch. His spirit is broken and his grandfather's soul remains mine. Ha ha ha. That's not really how he laughs, I don't think. Okay, now we gotta verse my Yugi. Come on, Yugi. 
Why won't he answer us? Never seen him like this. He's totally out of it. Well, he did just lose his only chance to save his grandfather. <laughs> Thanks, Bakura. <laughs> Mai came sauntering up to the steps of Pegasus's castle. What's up? If you guys have enough star chips to get into the castle, why are you hanging out here? It's Yug. He lost his star chips to Kaiba, and now it's like he's lost his will to go on. So the get little guy finally lost one, huh? Lucky for you guys that I came by. Listen up, Yugi. You got a beat. Wait, you got beat. But that doesn't mean it's the end of the world. When I got beat, I thought it was all over for me too, but then you stepped in and saved my star chips, and now I'm returning the favor. But if you give up your star chips, you can't win the prize money. I'm being kind, not stupid. <laughs> Whoa, she already has 10 star chips of her own. Go on, Yugi. You know that I owe you, so take them. Are my star chips not good enough for you? Fine then, I'll keep them. And your friends can wipe your nose all the way back to your nursery. Grow up, sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. My, don't get mad, you just don't understand. Oh, I understand. Your friend lo lost one lousy duel and now he's too chicken to play again. Isn't that right? How pathetic. Come on, chicken boy, duel me for them. I'll duel you. I'll do you right here and right now for Yugi. Oh boy. Good thing Taya had a secret deck that no one knew about. Implementing cards no one had ever seen before. It would be really funny if Taya just had like some crazy good deck. But I do think in the show, Taya has the highest win-loss ratio out of anyone. I'm pretty sure she never loses a single duel. Even though she only duels like twice. She duels Mai and wins, and she duels that penguin man, Nightmare Penguin, when they go into the, the digital world. And she wins there, too. Special summon one Cyberverse monster from your hand in defense position. You can target one in your graveyard that was sent. Special summon it in defense. You can only use this effect of stack revival once. Once per chain, if you take 2,000. I don't remember what that does, but sure. Field spell, go. Ooh, it looks all cool. So, if we summon... Oh, this is genius. Alright, alright, all right, wait. Special summon? Okay, so if we summon Widgekid, we use that to summon Stack Reviver. And then we Link Summon. Uh, what are we summoning here? Sure, summon Underclock Taker, that's fine. Put him over here. And then we'll activate Stack Reviver to summon Widget Kid. Boy, it didn't activate his effect! You can only use this effect once per turn. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Who would have known? Okay, well, what do you do? We got Encode. Oh, this guy's name is Xcode Talker. I was like, am I losing it? These two have the exact same name. Now this guy's name is Xcode Talker. Hmm. All right. Give me ENCODE TALKER! We'll put him here. And then we'll put enemy controller face down. Then we'll battle! Bird face. Add one Harpy Lady from your deck to the graveyard. Or, from your deck to your hand. You can put it in the graveyard too, that'd be okay. Well, 
What a play. Absolutely marvelous. Okay, does Widget, Widget Kid forces it to go to defense mode though, right? Yeah. So we summon Leotron. But we could probably just, uh, yeah, summon Leotron. Oh, I see how this works. It only gives them all linked monsters on the field. Okay, so these guys all get extra attack because they're linked now. <laughs> okay, but we want like Honeybot. Or try gate wizard, but he's a three. We need a two. Honeybot is a two. Neither player can target monsters this card points to with card effects, and those monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. Let's go, Honeybot. No, don't sacrifice that. What are you thinking? Honeybot looks so cool. Boom! What can we summon? I'm not gonna... I don't think it's a good idea, but... Summon a lot of stuff, actually. How, don't we have that Boral Dragon, too? How the heck did we summon him? How do we summon you? Three plus effect monsters. Alright, well that's gonna... That's a tough ask. Battle! Get him, Honeybot! Harpy's pet baby dragon. I knew Mai was trying to copy Joey's deck. What's this card even do? I don't know, it's too big of a paragraph. Couldn't be bothered to actually read it. What? What am I activating? Hold on, check field. This, I'm activating that. Nah, probably not. Seems like a negatory boss. Whoa! What? You jerk! I wanted that spell card. It was making Honeybot more powerful than you could ever imagine. No. Okay, I'm gonna get real annoyed by stupid. Dust tornado. Electronic space. There's not much information on it. I see what you did there. Uh, I guess we'll just set him down. He can be there, sure, why not? You know what? I'm done with you, stupid dust tornado. I need to pop his back or her back row anyways. I don't know what that card does, so whatever. Can we summon anything cool? Could probably do this. I don't know if you can link summon with face downs. I feel like if I try it and it doesn't work, then it'll end horribly. We might try it near the end of the duel. Or if we get another garbage card. Then we could try it. Try and summon a proxy dragon with it. Because I think once you say that you want a special summon something, then you're locked in. Like, summon this guy face up. And then special summon. What do you do? Change that monster's attack to zero. Contribute one level one monster, special summon this card. 
That seems cool. Alright, let's summon uh Nightmare Phoenix. Okay, you cannot select face downs. Oh, but you can cancel the summon. Genius. Uh we can summon this dude. We could also summon like Power Code Talker or Trigate Wizard. This is gonna require three. Oh wait, no, it won't require three because uh, Honeybot. We do this. Yeah, tree honeybot is two. Although we didn't end up using dot scaper, which we probably should have. I was hoping that we could have it be on the side. <laughs> didn't work out. But we get one of its effects. So now all of his damage is doubled. Which means we should be able to win. Wait, why wasn't it doubled? Oh, if the monster... Oh, it only works against monsters as well. Dang it. This is very interesting. We're learning a lot here. <laughs> oh no. Wait, what? Oh, you can't have him. No, that's okay. What are you gonna do? Attack me? Uh. Wait, hold on. I got an idea. Okay. So, if we activate this... We can keep it in attack mode. Like that. Activate the effect of Dotscaper. Put him in defense mode over here Oh, co-linked means that they have to be pointing at each other. Card gain based on the number of monsters. Okay. All right, we're figuring out how all this stuff works. Don't you worry. Boom. Special summon. If we summon power code talker, he'll be co-linked. But he requires three. We need a two. Proxy Dragon and Nightmare Phoenix are only twos. Give me Nightmare Fiend. Wait, hold on, what does Proxy Dragon do? Yeah. Nightmare Phoenix. Boop. Boop. And we're gonna co-link it to our Trigate Magicione wizard. That's what I said. Now he is. Once per turn, you can target one card on the field and banish it. If a monster co-linked to this card battles your opponent's monster, any battle damage it inflicts. So I assume that doesn't include himself? We should probably try it, though. Activate this effect. Get rid of that. Okay, that was pointless. 
So I just want to know if he counts as co-linked to himself or not. The answer is negatory. As a no. Please attack with this man. And then finish him, Nightmare Phoenix! We got a cool little triangle of link cards. I surrender, Taya. I don't have the cards to win. Although, um, I don't remember if my let Taya win or not. I thought that maybe my like showed something after the duel that she did actually have the ability to win, but she just didn't, and she never said anything. But technically, Taya is undefeated throughout the series. Way to go, Taya! You really came through for Yugi. Good match. Whatever. I didn't need these star chips anyways. Mai gave up her star chips and started to walk away. I can't believe that Mai actually earned 10 star chips twice. Wait, Mai, I have to ask you something. If you played that last card, wouldn't you have- Oh yeah, right, okay, so she was probably about to win. It was a throwaway, it was nothing that Taya wouldn't have been able to beat anyway. Some cards just aren't worth playing, huh, Yugi? Thank you. Yugi, I, um, I won these star chips for you. I know, thank you so much. Sure thing. I'll never forget what you did for me, Taya. You overcame your fears for me. And you've given me the courage to deal with mine. I will duel again and hopefully the consequences won't be as bad as I feared. Oh hey, we got the, the baby, Harpy's baby dragon. Should we do champion versus creator? Yeah, let's go for it. Yugi and his friends entered the castle. They found out that Pegasus had granted Kaiba his prize. Kaiba was about to duel Pegasus. Where's my brother? What? No hello? No how are you? I thought we were friends, Kaiba boy. Don't tell me that kidnapping Mogopa and seizing control of your company has put a rift between <laughs> I feel like that would uh, just put a little bit of a rift between them. It was nothing personal. Besides, it's not like I hurt your kid brother. He's perfectly safe. In fact, you can have him back if you like. Beat me in a duel and I'll release him as promised. But fail, and not only will his soul remain in bondage, but yours will join it. To save your brother, you'll have to defeat me. Defeat you, I'll crush you. Ready, Kaiba? Your brother's fate hangs in the balance. We've known each other for a long time, and now we'll see if the master is the duel monster's creator or the champion. Time to duel! Turned out that, uh, Pegasus overprepared and brought cards from the future to defeat Kaiba. Although I feel like if you get later on into the story of Yu-Gi-Oh, like after GX and stuff, like 5Ds where you start to have synchro monsters and then XYZ and then uh, pendulums and V-Rains, the whole ancient Egyptian thing starts to sound more and more untrue. <laughs> Cause like, obviously none of those existed in the ancient Egyptian things, right? Otherwise, everyone wouldn't be talking about Blue Eyes being the best card on the planet. Instead, they'd be talking about, hey, uh, have you seen this new uh, Sky Striker deck? It's pretty good. <laughs> okay, we'll play that. Still don't know what it does besides give me attack when I link things, and that's good enough for me. This only works if he's special summoned. Alright, you can add one level three or lower cyber. Okay. So let's summon her. Lady Debug. Activate the effect. Okay, what are we looking for? Maybe Widget Kid? Widget Kid or Dotscaper or Text Text Changer. That seems really good.
Wait, what did we just play Lady Debug? Nah, there's no way I can, uh... You could target one face-up monster, a Link monster you control points to. Special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, return that monster. Special summon this way. Okay, yeah, we can't can't do that at the moment. We probably want a Widget Kid. I mean, I want a Stack Reviver as well. But we, we need the Widget Kid. Because then he can summon Datacorn. Okay, so now we'll activate one time passcode. Summon a security token. And then we will link summon. Oh, we can only link summon these. Alrighty. Seems like a problem at the moment. Let's go, Honeybot. You're my favorite. <laughs> our turn. Uh, next turn we'll widget kid data corn use data corn's effect and then we can maybe uh, triple summon. I also want to know if this counts as pointing to this. We'll find out because they should get 500 attack if it does. Okay go widget kid. Yeah activate widget kid. Summon data corn. I put them right here. And then activate data corn's effect. Put it in defense mode. Right here. Data corn is so cute. <laughs> Alright, then. Special summon. Oh, we can actually summon a uh, Boral Guard Dragon. Maybe we should do that. Summon Boral Guard Dragon. Once per turn, you can send one card from your spell or trap cards onto the graveyard. Special summon from either graveyard. One monster that was destroyed and sent there this turn, but negate its effects. You target one monster on the field, change it to face up defense position. So, yeah, we'll just. Target all of his defense monsters all the time. Oh, we can't use... Can't use the data corn token. But we can put him here so he points to the data corn token. Genius. Activate the effect of what now? Maybe? What am I activating? This? Sure. Yeah, you become face up. That's not face up. What? Excuse me? Did I miss something here? You target one monster on the field. Oh, change up to face up defense position. So, we're gonna set this down. I got another plan, we're not done yet. And we'll battle. We will attack this. Oh no! Alright, well that throws a wrench into my plan just a little bit. Uh, I suppose we'll have to pop that instead of what I was gonna do. We'll first see what Kaiba does. Is he gonna attack the data corn? No, data corn! Uh oh. Okay, that's not a threat. So then right now, we'll activate this, we'll pop that, 
No, that's okay. We don't need to change him to defense position. No, stop. Okay, and if we target one monster in our graveyard, so we target Widget Kid. We can also target Honeybot. If we target Widget Kid, should we do? Pretty much the question is: Should we summon Nightmare Phoenix or should we summon uh, Honeybot? I feel like we should summon the Honeybot. No, we should summon. What does Nightmare Phoenix do? Uh, could discard one card, then target, destroy it, and then if this card, draw one card. Okay, that seems really good. We should do Nightmare Phoenix. So, we will summon right here. No, that's okay. So we'll activate his effect, sacrifice him, tribute him, and we'll summon a widget kid. Would it be smarter? Hold on, check the field. Can we. Oh, you can't look at your extra deck? I don't know if Nightmare Phoenix can use a token or not. So I guess we gotta summon Widget Kid. It would be smarter to not use... To not use the card in our hand if we don't have to, obviously. No, stop asking. Put him here. So, what does Nightmare Phoenix say? It says two monsters with different names. I don't know if tokens count as monsters. This guy says not tokens. So I assume that means they do count. We should try it sometime. And we just gotta make sure that Nightmare Phoenix... Oh, we can't discard a card. No, I don't want to activate that. I wanted to draw, but we don't have a card to discard. You're just going to keep asking me, aren't you? Oh my goodness. Oh, it also ends the battle phase? Oh, um, you cheater. Dang it, Kaiba. Well, if he summons a blue eyes, we can just switch it to defense mode. Well, he has a blue eyes now. Whether or not he can summon it is a different story. Uh, yeah. Activate this. Change that to face up. Okay, it's... Now, at least for this turn, they won't ask me. Uh, Widget Kid. Oh, wait. We could summon... Uh... We could summon Trigate Wizard this turn, right? Also summon this guy. When this card is link summoned, you can choose unused equal to the number of monsters currently in the extra monster zones. Oh, that doesn't really help me. Uh, you can only use this effect of X code talker once per turn. Monsters this card points to gain 500 attack. Also, they cannot be destroyed by card effect. Hmm. That's a tough one. I feel like Trigate Wizard would be good, but then we don't have another card. Like, we can't get his second effect off. That's pretty much the problem here. 
Maybe we'll just summon Widget Kid and just use him. Battle! He can actually kill either of them with his extra 500 attack. There's 3,500! It's bigger than any blue eyes. What are you gonna do? If you summon anything... Okay, you're gonna summon a blue eyes. Alright, well that seems like a moderate issue. Let's see what else he does. Okay. Not yet until he goes to battle phase. Yeah, okay. So I don't want him to kill my cards, obviously. So I will just change it to defense position. And then at the start of my turn, I'll change his other monster to face up. This card seems stupid. <laughs> so powerful. You can't hide anything from me, Kaima. Let's put down a mirror force. Battle. Uh, we can't win this turn because he summoned his blue eyes. But we can at least do a lot of damage. Go, Nightmare Phoenix! Hit him in the face! Nice. Hopefully next turn we can finish this. Don't you just love that time when Pegasus? Wait, wait, wait. What does this guy's other effect do? I guess in one special summon one monster that was destroyed. Can we do that? Ah, oh, we could have summoned the blue eyes. Oh, that would have been genius. Uh, yeah, before the end phase, I'm going to uh, do this and do that. Could have summoned the blue eyes. Uh, no. You're going to ask me if I want to change my own cards to defense mode. I find this highly offensive. What else can we summon? Because why not at this point? You can target one face up monster. Oh, right, 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 right. Let's just get Proxy Dragon, I suppose. Put it here. And then we should battle, kill this. I just want to try this because, oh, you can't do it during the battle phase? Really? Oh. I wanted to try stealing his battle ox. You lose, Kaiba boy, and you've lost much more than just this duel. You've lost the only chance you had at rescuing your baby brother. You let him down, but don't worry, my dear friend. I will spare you the agony of carrying on in this world without him. Pegasus held up a blank card. What is that? It's your final fate of... It's the final fate of your soul, Seto Kaiba. Maximilian Pegasus captured Kaiba's soul with his Millennium Eye, trapping it in the blank card. Pegasus now had Seto Kaiba, Mokuba, and Yugi's grandpa's souls. Welcome to your new home, a place of solitude and seclusion. Ah, uh, the brothers Kaiba, one in each of my hands. But even though your cards are so very close, your souls have never been further apart. Pegasus is a bad, bad man. Well, that is going to do it for this one. We got to try out our new Link deck. I don't think it's very good. 
but it's definitely a lot more fun to use and think about than just like set card past turn set card past turn now we're like all right how can i finagle out multiple link monsters granted we only managed to summon like one link monster a turn but we can make our deck better and we can do more once we make it better but either way hopefully you enjoy this one let me know if you like using the link deck or if you'd like to go back to the regular story decks we're not even halfway through this so i'm sure by the time people start saying what they want we can always switch back but either way hopefully you enjoyed this one and i will see you next time